Number eight, we will finally complete the biometric entry exit visa tracking system, which we need desperately. For years, Congress has required biometric entry exit visa tracking systems but it has never been completed. The politicians are all talk, no action, never happens, never happens. Hillary Clinton, all talk. Unfortunately, when there is action, it's always the wrong decision. Do you ever notice? In my administration, we will ensure that this system is in place. And I will tell you, it will be on land, it will be on sea, it will be in air. We will have a proper tracking system. Shalom, kahala yahava b'ashem yashai, b'ashem rakovadash. The Lord is my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect, with the house of David reborn again in this generation. And shalom to the one thirty Yashurala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage. We were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about Trump's recent ear bandage and how it may just be a, a ploy by these devils to push forward the acceptance of the Neuralink brain chip. And let me go ahead and uh, go through some things here before uh, we get into that. For first, let's go ahead and read this. This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. These Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And as we just watched in this video, right, Trump made it very clear that they were going to complete the biometric ID system. Okay, now this is during his first uh, presidency, the first you know, his first uh, trip around. And he said this during the, uh, during the beginning part of the immigration issue that Babylon the Great was having. Babylon the Great being the biblical name for America. Now, we all know that this here didn't pass, but you could definitely tell that these devils were doing everything they could to make this come to pass. Now, that this devil's gonna, for the most part, he's pretty much assured to be the next president because of how Biden has dropped out and they really haven't come out with anybody who uh, can offer any type of competition, right? Unless they bring, let's say, somebody like Gavin Newsom or some other big end Democrat. But for the most part, people are done with Democrats. So, so done, in fact, that the uh, globalist powers behind the Democratic Party now, which were, used to be behind the Republican Party during the Bush era, uh, right, the neocons and whatnot, the deep state, or really just Amalek, right, the so-called Israelis, they're now switching sides back over to the Republican side. This is where you're seeing the J.D. Vance, the um, uh, all these other people, right, the Candace Owens, I believe, you know, and the Matt Walsh. These people are the, uh, I guess you would call them the sensible conservatives now, but in the future, more likely they're going to be the, the next Bill O'Reilly's and you know and so on right which are simply just gonna be you know pulling um, propaganda for the conservative side once the conservative side is pushed in but that being said right we all know the recent theatrics that these devils put on right with the whole you know uh, Trump getting his ear grazed and whatnot and but not only that but as you can see here right you got the patriotic ear bandage right and these devils they love to freaking venerate their idol trump right they find out that he has the pens and they put gold in the pens on right they find out he's endorsing a sneaker they go out and they buy his sneaker right well he gets you know they say he got shot in the ear and he puts on an, uh, a band-aid and what happens people come out and make it a political symbol now one thing I didn't catch this at first, but it was my wife. She's all, look, she's all, it looks kind of like they all got neurally, all right? And that, that gave me an epiphany. What if this, in fact, is actually something that's going to, they're going to push forward as some sort of status symbol or a way to legitimize or familiarize 
um, you know, people getting that neural link brain chip. And what do I mean by that? Well, you can see these, these groups of people here, right? You can see back here and in the background, all wearing these, these, uh, these bandages, right? Well, let's read this. Why did they do that? Well, let's, tell you, let's read this. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11. And for this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But now you see, that's the thing. Now, all, they all, in this case here, it's primarily talking about the Israelites, the Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and anybody whose father's lineage goes back to that bloodline. Now, a lot of these people here probably don't fall into that, that uh, lineage other than maybe this guy, who knows, maybe that guy back there, but you never know. But the point being is that this world is enamored with false religion, including so-called Jesus Christ, which, and I, the reason I say Jesus Christ is because that's not his name. And the image behind that name is a false man who lived during the 1400s named Cesare Borgia, right? The true Messiah of the Bible, his name is Yahweh Shai, which is Hebrew for he is salvation. And he also was a so-called black man. So these people, though they may profane that they're religious and they're conservative, they love Jesus or they love God, they don't love the God of the Bible. They love the man-made God that was based off of Cesare Borgia that the Vatican you know, venerated and endorsed and ultimately pushed and which defiled the, the masses and made everybody believe that the, that God, so-called Jesus, because they believe God and the Son are one because they're following a pagan belief of, of Nimrod and his son Tammuz. Well, these people are, all, are stuck in that. And in doing so, if they are following or seeking after the Lord, the Lord's going to send them a strong delusion. What is that delusion? Well, this may just be it, right? The, the, the fact that these people are, are turning this into a political symbol can, can mean that only one thing, that they have chosen their Messiah, okay? There's many images, and not only images, but many stories that came out when this all went down, how this was a divine intervention that, that God himself delivered Donald J. Trump. And why is that? Well, because he is, the, as Jesse Lee Peterson says, man, he is the great white hope. Okay, that's what they literally believe. They believe this man is the uh, salvation that God's going to send them to save America. But not realizing that he's not that guy. That this guy here, he's the, the scapegoat. He is, the, or should I say the Judas goat, right? He's misleading these people down down the line right and, and he's basically working an angle for his masters the small hatters amalek the top tribe of edom right because when you look at his finances the people who got him out of bankruptcy back i think in the 80s early 90s right uh who, who he married his daughter off to all, who he did all these political monumental movements like moving the capital of israel from tel aviv to jerusalem moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem, right, so that way Israel would have more protection there. All these different things that, that this devil, Trump, did for Amalek, right, the so-called so uh, Jewish people, right, he did it because he's in their pocket. This is their boy, okay? And there's a rumor going around. I haven't seen anything that's credible of it, but apparently Donald J. Trump converted to Judaism back in 2020, you know, joining himself onto the house of Amalek. Or at least thinking he did. Because these devils, they, they don't really uh, uh, have any honor bound between them. right? They're, they're all uh, hustling each other. right? In this case here, Donald Trump, an Edomite, is simply you know, waging war against his other fellow Edomites. Okay? And what he's doing, what he did here, was an act of, uh, what I believe, propaganda. Okay? Now, yeah, definitely somebody ki got killed. But these devils aren't aren't uh, afraid of uh, cracking a few eggs to get their agenda across. Well, now this man here, right, with a blood splattered across his face as at like in a shape of a serpent's tongue is now for the most part guaranteed to have a second term in the White House as president. And we just watched the video where he said that they were going to get the biometric implant 
ID system implemented and that it would work in the land, the sea, and the air, well, what can I, what can that be? Well, what does this look like? Remember what I said that the neuro, that could be the Neuralink uh, brain bandage, you know, mark that, you know, hey, you could see people coming out of the hospital with these little bandages around their ear, and it could be for this, right? Because that's, because my wife's seen the Im this image, right? And that's why she said, when she sees it, she goes, oh, it looks like they got that Neuralink chip in their head. Yes, and that's ultimately what these, these devils might be just doing, right? Normalcy bias, where they push an image out to the world so much, right? Not only is it like that bandage, but also all the, the Bluetooth headphones. Even I got one, right? Because they're convenient. But these devils, one day, conveniency is gonna, gonna require some sort of implant. Now, what better way to require that implant to make it compulsory than to require the government to do it? For you to take it and how and and what am i talking about well i'm talking about none other than making an uh, implantable biometric chip mandatory to function in the society because that's ultimately where we're going when you read about the 2030 agenda the the world economics policy they have in their their own writings that they're going to require biometric ids from everybody everybody thinks that it's you know iris scans or fingerprints no these devils literally want to be inside of you right it tells you in the scripture that these devils want to want to be in god's temple that would be your body okay they want to know what you're thinking they want to control you and and do all that but the scripture has warned us about this this is revelations 13 and 16 and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive and mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom that him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six that's where six 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 comes from so these devils like i said they're going to make wearing, you know, that earpiece or even having the microchip in your hand a fashion statement, right? We all have heard the apostles and the elders say that they're going to get your fam famous uh, movie star, your favorite athlete or singer, all to have chips. But they're going to make it a status symbol. You're going to start seeing people out there with like bandages on their ears or on their hands talking about they got the chip. What do you know about this? You know all this type of bullshit. Because you can't never put anything past these devils. Even if it's cringy as hell. Tacky. Which is Esau's middle name. They don't care. As long as they get it out into the public. And our people. Like I made a video the other day man. Our people are gullible as fuck. As long as they got their, their celebrities doing it. Jake's going to want to do it too. So let's get this and then we're out of here. This is Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rust this, so is his wickedness. So these devils may be on their supposed heels, right? Talking about their president just got almost killed. And, you know, they want to come back together in unity. And it's time for the nation to heal. But that's all what they say. What they're going to do is two different things. They're bringing forward martial law. When, when Donald J. Trump and all these theatrics are over, and he's finally in the White House. Watch, we're going to see some draconian laws go into place. Remember, Donald Trump already said that there should be a death penalty for anti-Semitism. And with the video we just watched, he's, he's definitely into the uh, trackable, you know, implantable chip. And the thing is, is these devils, that's where they want to go. So, you know, we're about to be in for a crazy surprise. Okay, well, not us, but, you know, the world, the, the unassuming world is going to be in for a, a rude awakening all while us the, the the prophets the apostles right the, the the israelites who have come back to our right mind have been warning the world about the rfid mark of the beast system that they're going to implement and telling people but we're going to see you know this is it's all still going to come it doesn't matter how many times it's it's taught about or or it's screamed about on the street, it's still going to come because it's the Lord's will. Now it's going to be ultimately up to everybody 
to decide to either take it and be part of the system and join themselves to the beast or to reject it and take the side of the Lord. So either way, hopefully this video was edifying. I can tell next time I want to give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Kakwadash, Shalom.